Hey guys, what's up? I am on my Miss Weaver Monk. I said I was gonna make a video on this guy soon, so I am gonna make a video on this guy soon. Yeah, hopefully this queue won't take too long, and I'll see you guys in. Or is it gonna be an instant queue? No, it's not. Damn it. I wanted an instant queue, man. Oh, I don't even have a back, so I gotta go get that. That sucks, yeah. Hmm. I was wondering why my health was a little low, but. Looks like I got a log, so I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, I logged off and I uh, logged on to my warlock and I got this back from him. So I really like it that uh, in uh, well, when you log off in WoW, uh, it doesn't actually well when you log off to switch to another character, it doesn't actually uh. You know, get, uh, it doesn't kick you out of your queue. So, if you don't have an instant queue and you you can log off and uh, you know, be quick about something, like send mail to that guy and then hog back on, and you might still be in the queue. So, that's kind of nice. I like that a lot. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Hopefully, this won't take too long because I'm I'm tired. I have to wake I have to wake up early for school and. It wasn't fun. So, yeah. One more DPS, and then we should kick some booty. Usually it's like, oh my god, you have to wait for one DPS, and it takes like another 20 minutes or whatever. But uh, sometimes that's not the case. And hopefully this time it's not the case, and it is not the case this time. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so stone core is a little tough, in my opinion, especially when tanks aren't extremely geared off their ass. It's, it's tough. It's tough. So this guy's taken a bit of deeps, but it's not awful. And I have not played on my, uh, whatever it's called, moy. How do I not remember Mr. Weaver? I have not played on Mr. Weaver in a while. So, might take a little bit of time to get back into it. Yeah, get back into the flow. One thing I really do like about Holy Pally Healing is that you can also, uh, if you're pretty good at it, you can uh, run in to your enemies and uh, you can stun some of them, which will. Uh, Minimize the damage that your tank actually takes, which is awesome. You know what? Okay. Sometimes I have kind of OCD kind of things, and I just like to spend my chi really quickly. It's also like with holy power and shit like that. It's just like for some reason I like to pop up uplift quite frequently. Even when the rest of my DPS like don't really need it, I like to pop it up. I don't know why. It's just kind of a thing that I've, you know, grown into over the years of healing. I have healed for quite a while. I'm pretty experienced, I would say. I wouldn't say I'm anything amazing, but uh, I think I know my way around healing pretty well. Like, I can, uh, if the tank pulls a shit ton, I have ways of dealing with that. Uh, I would use a lot of crowd control, I would uh, use paralysis, I would uh, use my charging off white ox wave. All these things work together to mitigate your tank's damage. So, uh, like, a huge ton of damage won't be coming in. There'll still be damage coming in, a lot of damage, but uh, it'll be less if you use your crowd control properly. And of course, if you're in like an oh shit moment, you can pop your life cocoon, which holds like a huge ass absorb. That's like, you know, the ultimate oh shit button that pretty much saves tanks life really easily. So it's pretty cute. Pretty cute.
I really can't wait until I actually get into some raid healing, though. That'll be really fun, and I think it'll be a little bit more challenging for me. Since the fights last quite a bit longer, I will have to learn to, uh, you know, work with my man a little bit more. Of course, it'll get a ton easier as I get more gear, because... Usually, I'm used to get it, to having my spells keep on, you know, having their mana increased and increased. Um, and, you know, my spear is increasing, so they're kind of canceling each other out. Like, uh, my spear is increasing, but I'm also having to use up more of my mana for my spells. And, uh, when I get to max level, it'll stop increasing. You know, I'll have, like... I don't know what my mana will be at, but I'll have like, let's say, 300k mana, and uh, it'll stay there, it won't keep on increasing, but my gear can keep on increasing, so I will just keep on stacking spirit, so I will have so much more, I will have a lot easier time uh, healing when I actually get to have some decent gear. It'll only get easier when you start off. I mean, of course, encounters will start being harder, but uh, if you have other healers healing with you that are pretty experienced in their class, <laughs> then, yeah, you should be getting a ton of use out of your gear, which is really nice. I could use that for a Windwalker set. I don't know if I ever am going to do that, though, so... Usually I just pass on that kind of stuff, or agreed. I never pass on anything unless my inventory is full. There's always that chance that you might get something. So, oh shit, I'm dying. So when you get around 15 or whatever stacks of manatee, I would definitely suggest using some of that up unless you're, you know, max or really close to max mana, because sometimes you can like, forget about, um, your manatee when you get higher up, and then you can max out on your manatee, and your manatee only stacks to 20. It won't keep on going past 20, but your mana will keep on going down. So, it's just best to, you know, use it as much as possible. Don't use it all if you don't need it. You know, know your limits. But, yeah, just don't abuse it, but uh, if you do need it, and uh, uh, with Manatee, it has to be channeled. You can't just, you know, use up the 20 stacks instantly. You have to wait. So, you need to make sure that your other healers can handle it when, while you are uh, using your Manatee. So. Something to think about. I like uh, Mistweaver healing. Even the uh, mana recovery spell requires a bit of strategy. You really got a time when you think your tank won't be taking as much damage. This tank is a little squishy, so he does take a little bit of damage, and the DPS are also dying kind of quickly. So it's kind of a healing intensive group, but uh, you're not awful. Uh, do I need that? It doesn't have any spirit. So no, I probably don't need it. Eh, probably not. Oh well. Let's see if I can get anything from this dungeon. I have two bosses left. So, uh... Mistweaver. Nah, not really. Not that much stuff, anyways. Oh shit, that does a ton of damage. Oh wow, what the heck? Oh, I haven't even been using my Chi Wave. I was wondering why I was missing a spell. Huh, oh shit, someone died. That's no fun. I didn't even see her die. Oh, he's one of those RPers. Not sure why he did that. Whatever. He mass res. That's kind of interesting. He has a res himself, but uh, 
that you use mass res for some reason. I guess just to save a bit of mana. Not a bad idea, since she probably won't be dying again. So yeah, now I will be using G-Wave. That was a stupid, not stupid of me. I'm not sure why it wasn't on my taskbar. I fuck up too sometimes. Even though I've played this game for many years, I still make several mistakes. And it looks like that pack is going to be pulled or not. One thing I really do like about the Holy Paladin's stun is that it's actually a stun that's not like an incapa incapacitate. Like, it actually stuns for the full uh, duration. Uh, instead of, like, you know, if they take damage, it will go away. The Paladin's stun does do that. It's actually a stun. Luckily, we're not pulling any of these extra packs. Sometimes that does happen, and I freaking messed up with my manatee. Oh, well, I will get that back soon. Okay, there we go. Uh, So yeah, I am using Chi Wave on cooldown. It does damage and it heals, and it's free, so might as well. And yeah, might as well just pull both of these packs. Probably a smart idea. I'm gonna put Life Cocoon on them, just to show you guys how much it absorbs. It's at 90, 90k right now, and his health is only at 65k. I think it, uh, the actual absorb is at 102k, so it's more than his maximum health. It's kind of, it's getting pretty near twice his health, so Life Cocoon is a really, really awesome cooldown, and it's really cheap too, so definitely I would suggest using that quite frequently. It's also a nice way to save you mana. You can use it, and then you can, you know, just sit out and wait. Or, you know, heal or DPS that might be taking a bit of damage. Uh, yeah, you're supposed to get out of that, because that does a lot of damage to everyone. And if you get hit by that, you aren't a team player. I'm going to get some of my mana back. I don't really need it that much, but might as well. Uh, yeah, it's gonna hurt. None of these guys are moving out of the way. That's making my life harder. I guess it does allow them to continue to DPS, so... In some ways, it does make the encounter faster, which is making my life easier, so... I guess if you're really, really good DPS, if you're, you know, really good at your class and you can pull some amazing deeps, you can stay in there, just finish off the boss quickly. But usually I would just suggest to stay clear of that, because it's not fun for the healer to have to, you know, heal up. And I would always, uh, as you can see, I've been doing it for uh, my uh, Jade Sermon statue. I would always put it ahead of your group because it has a 30 second cooldown. So if you're going through packs that die quickly and there's like, you know, there's a pack that you're killing right now and then there's a pack like just a short distance up ahead. Uh, It'll have range. It'll have the range to uh, be able to heal, to help you heal for both packs instead of just one. So, I would always put a little bit ahead of you so it can heal the pack you're currently healing and the pack that is uh, 
up next. So I just pop Life Cocoon because this guy is taking way too much damage and he might die. But nah, nope. Life Cocoon saved my ass. He probably would have died there. I don't know, maybe I might have been able to heal him up. It would just use the shit ten of my mana. It's best in this case to just use Life Cocoon. Because I don't think that I'm going to be needing it any other time in this encounter. Because this fight is pretty easy. If you know what you're doing. I guess that's the same for all encounters. <laughs> In this case, there isn't any more pack, so I can just put it, uh, you know, next to me. Yeah, I definitely want to avoid those as much as possible, because they can hit you for a shit ton of damage. And, well, RDPS blazed through this boss with flying colors. She did not last long at all. I oh, man. That was actually pretty freaking fast. Okay, unfortunately I didn't get any gear from this, but whatever. Oh well, that's usually what happens, unfortunately. I usually don't get gear. But whatever, I will try not to be uh, emo gear, so. Yeah. And thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was informative and uh, fun to watch. Uh, hopefully. So. Yeah, this is going to be my last video for the day. I am tired. I woke up early. And I want to get to bed. So thank you guys for watching. Another video will hopefully be up tomorrow. We'll see. I will try to make up for that uh, like two or three day period when I wasn't updating any uploading any videos at all so yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on the next video